Welcome back friends. I'm so happy you guys are here. We're going to kick off today's video here in the yard. If you've seen my latest videos, then you saw that we've been working on our backyard refresh. So today I wanted to add a little special touch back here. So thank you so much to Alni for sponsoring today's video and sending us these 120 foot outdoor string lights. One of the first things that I noticed unboxing these were how the wires didn't come tangled the shatterproof anti-drop plastic Edison style bulbs and their beautiful warm glow. I worked with Alni when we decorated our home this last Christmas and I absolutely loved their net lights. So I was very excited to receive these. I ultimately decided to line our patio cover with these string lights. I had a few options back here, but I thought this would have the best impact as we love to spend warm nights back here in the spa or having movie nights or even when we entertain. These lights were so easy to hang and were light enough for me to just use an adhesive tape here on the Aluma wood patio cover. Apparently magnets don't stick to these. So I did have some hooks already on this far side of the patio cover and the rest I just hung with adhesive. I also wanted to mention if maybe you live in a climate where it's windy, rainy, or even snow, these lights will hold up to that weather as well. So I wanted to throw that out there. As you can see, this is a windy day here in Southern California, but we got them up and look at this after the glow of the backyard it just looks so special. And anytime I have anyone over, this definitely transformed this space into somewhere we want to actually spend more time. I just know this summer we are going to spend so many summer nights here in the backyard. I will have a link down below if you guys also want to check out these all knee string lights. I absolutely love them and we could not be happier. And thank you so much to all knee for sponsoring today's video. you saw it was pretty windy and kind of got a little chilly out there so I decided to come inside and warm up a little bit and shift my focus to putting a couple spring touches here in the kitchen keeping it very very simple I was at the grocery store and I found these beautiful blooms and I loved the assortment, the colors, whoever made this bouquet nailed it. I thought it was so beautiful. So these were definitely an impulse buy, but um, definitely put that very simple, organic touch of spring here in my kitchen. I ended up putting these on my dining room table, but I feel like I can move these all over the house wherever I feel like we're entertaining. I also got this little wooden bunny this year. You guys will see it in just a second. I'm kind of fiddling with things, keeping it real. You guys are gonna see me dropping things, things moving around, me swapping things out. But I got this sweet little wooden bunny at Michael's for 40% off. So I decided just to layer it here with my cutting board here in the kitchen. And these sweet little spring towels I picked up from Home Goods this year. They were a three pack. So this is another really simple, budget-friendly, affordable way to just add touches of spring in your kitchen without going over the top. Just hang a sweet little towel over your oven door or your dishwasher. You probably saw me put this little vase together in one of my latest videos. So I decided to leave these on the kitchen island. I've been moving them around the house. And then this bunny I've had for years. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that here on the island. Again, very, very simple, not going to over the top. And of course, Ruger is here right under my feet as I'm doing all the things. So I had to give him his little camera time and his moment. I wanted to take a quick minute though to share with you guys what I'm putting in my kids' Easter baskets this year. I feel like I haven't seen many ideas for kids my age on YouTube or even on Instagram. So if you have boys or children um, around the ages 9, 10, 11, then you will love these Easter baskets. Um, again, didn't spend too much money, but wanted to still make them fun and exciting. So I'm just going to lay everything out here in front of me and then we'll go ahead and put these together. These are baskets that we've had for years. I believe they are from Pottery Barn. My mother-in-law actually got these for the boys and we just continue to reuse them every single year. And then I went to Target and I picked up several items to fill these baskets with. 
I won't say anything out loud because my kids will probably hear me. So I'm just going to give you guys a nice little overview of everything that I picked up. I usually love to go with a theme. Um, so as you can see what the theme was this year, very outdoors, very cozy, very colorful. And you always got to throw some sweet treats in there too. I love to start with the largest items first and put those towards the basket the back of the basket and then slowly work my way forward with the smaller items and then of course top it off with some candy and some eggs I think I'm going to put some money eggs in their baskets this year um, because as they are getting a little older my boys are all about receiving cash or even gift cards so I'm just going to slowly start laying layering these to just what looks good to the eye starting with the large items working my way to the smaller items in the front Stronger. Just got home from Target, so I'm just going to show you guys a quick little haul. Minus one thing, which Colton got a toy, which he's going to go upstairs and do chores to earn that right now. This was $200, you guys, from Target. That is so crazy. I also am trying the new lavender cream oat milk um, latte, I think it is. It's really good, actually. Um, highly recommend. So, I got this while I was walking around and shopping. Um, I finally found the smaller size of the black vase that I put on my arches. I'll walk you guys over there in a second. I have not been able to find this and this was the last one. So I grabbed it. This was 20. So we will actually put that up in this video. Also got a couple deodorants. I love this Lumi deodorant. This toasted coconut scent literally smells like cookies it's so good and then i picked up rylan this tom's deodorant um if you guys have young boys let me know what kind of deodorant you guys use um i just started buying it for him so i thought this natural one might be a good option so let me know also the other day my husband asked if i had a tide to go stick could not find mine anywhere so i've grabbed another one also picked up some water wipes. I love to, to take these to the ranch for my horse. He gets allergies um, and the vet didn't recommend putting him on like any type of medications or anything. So I just keep these. I keep one in my deck box down below where he is and then one up in the tack room. I just love that, you know, there's no like harsh chemicals or anything like that. And I can wipe his eyes or his nose, just clean him up a little bit. So I got two more of those. Also, this is my lineup for doing laundry right now. Um, so let me know what 
more plant-based good options you guys can recommend. Um, this is what I'm using for my detergent, just the Tide with Downy, and then the Downy Scent Boost beads. And then this is my second bottle of this. Um, somebody asked me how I'm liking it and the jury is still out. So I got a second bottle, but I've been seeing the commercials for it and I'm intrigued. So got another bottle of that. Um, I love to keep gum in my car and I was completely out. So I grabbed another thing of gum. Um, I love this figment collection. I'll show you guys the salt and pepper grinders that I picked up last week, but my whisk completely broke and we've been living without one. So I got this one by figment. It was just $5. Um, it matches the utensils that I already have and they're so pretty to look at with the gold detail. So I got a new whisk and then I got this new pair of tongs again, matching with the gold detail. It matches the utensils that I already have. We are in charge of football snacks, so we're gonna put together little goodie bags for after flag football this weekend. So, hi Ruger, I, I know you're there, buddy. I know you're there. Um, so I picked up some tangerines to add to their little goodie bags, and then we've been flying through these apples. So, I've been putting these in Ryland's lunch and just snacking on them, the whole family. The star of the show is my new knit blanket by Casa Luna. I have like the really pretty, like mustardy, warm colored one. It's on my bed, um, but I really wanted to get this more like oatmeal colored one. These are not cheap. This was 60. I think my other one is, is a king and this one I got a full queen because my other one is almost too long. It like hangs on the ground and I do have a king size bed. So I got this size to see if I would like it better. So. That was $200, you guys, like I said, with the exception of one toy that I got Colton, that was $20, um, and he's gonna give me money and earn the rest, but can you believe it? This is what $200 gets you these days. I'm up in the clouds when you're around But when you're not, it's getting much harder And I'm falling down, down, I'm falling down I ordered some rechargeable bulbs on Amazon and I wanted to share these with you guys. Let me know if you want me to link them. I can put it down in the pinned comments for you. But all you do is plug this into the wall and charge it up and then put it into your lamp and it came with this remote. It has a timer, it has different colors. Of course, I like the warm tone. You guys will see in just a second. Um, so I thought there was an outlet in this cabinet. We drilled a hole in everything when we built out these arches and I pulled everything out of this cabinet to see that there was no outlet on this side of the cabinet. So these rechargeable bulbs were so great. Again, super affordable on Amazon. Great for an area in your home that you don't have an outlet and maybe you want to put a lamp. Highly, highly recommend. So anyways, we got that debacle all dealt with and now I can turn on my lamp in that corner. This downstairs bathroom was on my to-do list for the last few days and every day I kept on saying, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna do a really good deep clean and the day would go by and then I'd realize I never came in this bathroom and gave it a good clean. So I'm gonna come in here and do some spring cleaning right down to pulling everything out of this medicine cabinet, wiping it all down, cleaning the mirror, scrubbing the sink, um, we're even going to get out our electric brush and the pink stuff and get in all that grout. Um, we're going to mop, doing all the things in here and just give it a nice fresh spring clean. So I'm going to let the music play as I go ahead and clean in here. And if you guys want to get up and clean along with me, this is your sign.
Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious forget I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Seeing this wallpaper reminded me I wanted to ask you guys I'm thinking about coming in or having a painter come in and paint this bathroom and my bedroom and bathroom so what would you guys do would you keep the wallpaper up and just paint around it or should I take the wallpaper down um, 
because I know in the future, if I wanna take this wallpaper down, now I'll have a wall that's a different color. This is just a peel and stick. Um, I don't plan on taking this wallpaper down anytime soon, but it's nice to have the option. So I don't know what to do. Let me know what you guys would do. Should I just take it down and have the whole bathroom painted? Or should I just leave it up? And then if I ever take it down, I just have the one wall to paint. I don't know. Um, but I definitely need to call my painter that was just here and painted my arches and see what he would charge to paint my bedroom. I can't stand the three paint colors in my bedroom any longer. And while he was here, I was going to see if he could maybe paint this bathroom. So while I had time to throw out the idea and ask you guys what you think before I give him a call, I wanted to get this in this video and get your feedback. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now so I'm kind of sad because I have my fake palm tree just kind of set in this basket and I've had this pottery from Hobby Lobby probably for about a year now and I usually just kind of swap out faux plants and display it on like my kitchen island or around the house but I thought maybe this tree might look pretty in it. Unfortunately, the pot that the palm tree comes in is too big to fit in that. And I'm so bummed because I went and bought this faux moss and everything to kind of fill out the top. So I feel like I'm back to the drawing board. This is a faux palm from Target a few years ago. Clearly I need to dust it. But um, yeah, it just came in this plain white pot, which is totally fine. But I wish it was just in something more substantial. So I'm going to have to be on the lookout for something else to put this palm in because I'm just not feeling this basket anymore. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just like kind of bummed. I get close it didn't somehow. work out. And I was down. Until you save me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly I sat down to edit this video and realized I never put my new Casa Luna blanket on my bed and I showed it to you guys in my little Target haul and I figured I wanted to go ahead and go full circle and show you guys what it looks like on the bed. First I showed you guys the old color that is also the Casa Luna brand in the king size in a different color and as you can see this one is much lighter and I love how it looks. I know everything on my bed is almost the same color but I'm gonna be adding some different pillows so it will mix it up. So I'm actually really liking the size and the color. What do you guys think? Inside editing this video, I realized I never filmed an, an outro. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to continue to put some finishing touches here in the backyard. Next thing I think would be to take a trip to the, the nursery and pick up some maybe fresh flowers, some lavender, some sage, some rosemary, um, and fill in my planters, maybe add some potted 
plants out here. I think that'll really just bring everything to life. And then of course, as everything blooms, that'll really bring that pop of color here on the hill. But thank you so much for watching today. Also, don't forget to check out Alni. I will have their website linked down below in the description box along with a discount code if they are kind enough to extend one out to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.